uh, it's great pleasure for me uh, to meet you all here in this online meeting. Uh, and I would like to thank to Prof. Uh, Oscar Melha from University of Aveiro, Portugal, and also Professor Jan Kalioste from Tallinn University, Estonia, in coordinating this event. And also to Prof. Cesar Colasos from University of Cauca, Colombia, uh, for the introduction at the beginning of this event. Uh, my name is Fela. I'm from Department of Architecture, Universitas Atmajaya, Yogyakarta, Indonesia. It is very late at night, uh, nearly uh, 11 o'clock at night, so I hope I wouldn't get asleep during my presentation. Uh, the paper I'll present uh, entitled Collecting a City's Collective Memory in Co-Productions of an Online Urban Design Learning Space. It was, it was uh, written with Dr. Cheng Sipeng from University of Sheffield in the UK. Uh, this study is motivated uh, by the needs of students in urban design learning, where learners may produce responses uh, as a design proposal for bettering the urban environment concern. Urban context uh, to understand uh, urban context is something that learner uh, needs to grapple with first in order to understand of how uh, the forms and function of public urban space or places are interrelated to inhabitants' live experiences. Uh, a more context-aware and sensitive design outcome uh, resulting from investigating the social and architectural changes of building and places, connecting the memory of the past urban forms to the current issue is important. Uh, however, Comprehensive historical studies and people's memory of a city are not always easily available and accessible to design thinking. So in this study, uh, we draw the questions as how digital uh, representations of urban spaces of a real city and instances of citizens' memory associated with the city can be assembled and linked to form a virtual social work in which urban design learning may take hold. We conducted a multi-stage experiment to explore how a 3D virtual city constructed with records of collective memory can affect urban design learning in higher education setting. We consider several proportions uh, to bring uh, to bring forth the concept of city and collective memory to the constructions of a 3D virtual city. Uh, we begin with a simple idea uh, that initial instances, instances of some person's memory associate with a particular segment of a city could be gathered into a collective memory bank as seeds to grow further. So the concept is like uh, 3D models of a, a virtual city became an interface through which the process of remembering can be mediated. Uh, by selecting, organizing, storing, and retrieving the records content through the website, as well as having dialogue and interaction, the collective memory could be formed. In relating to support learning, uh, we also developed the creative site. Uh, it has become a single point entry to which learners may access urban design learning information as well as the 3D model. So on the experiment, we developed an experimental uh, virtual learning, learning environment in which students can access 3D model and uh, collective memory uh, connected with the 3D model. We model about 1.2 kilometers of Maliborough Street uh, with building uh, in the virtual environment. About 30 students uh, divided into four groups uh, taking part in the experiment. They are given a group and individual tasks. For the, for the group task, 
uh, they have to choose a specific site in the street section where they were asked to submit a design proposal. And for the individual task, its member had to author or write memory records related to building and places in the street. In, uh, in developing the memory records, uh, the participants uh, can writing the memory by adding more con content to the initial example of memory records or creating completely new first-hand memory records by recording from primary sources or finding information from the field by interviewing informants they meet in the site. Uh, they also use many kinds of uh, records. It can be text, it can be images, it can be videos uh, and connected with the 3D model. Uh, this is only the examples of photo uh, used by members of a particular group in their memory records. Several photos were used several times by students to narrate the story of building and places in the site they are given for the project. And during the presentation of the, de the design progress, the tutor gave, gave feedback such as emphasizing the strength and the weaknesses of each group in terms of analysis and how students could relate it to urban design theory. The tutor also emphasized the role of collective memory in the analysis stage by po pointing out an example of the student's task. Uh, from the experiment, uh, we try to evaluate how creative collective memory enhanced virtual city can support urban design learning. Uh, we use a qualitative uh, software uh, and Vivo to compare the content of memory records uh, and the content of uh, group project reports. Uh, the, con the content of memory records from the, each member of the group and also the content of the group project reports. And also potential correlation between students' usage of memory records and the qualities of urban spaces in their design proposal. Uh, the content of the collective memory uh, are coded and classifying into 15 parameters. Uh, we borrowed from uh, Gordon Cullen's Stonescape and Raymond J. Curran's urban experience uh, theory. Uh, from the experiment, we find that the number of records in the content of collective uh, memory and the design proposal report is uh, significant. The content of collective memory records students collated into virtual city repository appeared, uh, appeared significantly in their group uh, design reports. Uh, from, uh, from 15 parameters, we find that uh, there are five, uh, five uh, category uh, which is used more uh, by students like places linkage and continuity with historical tradition, architectural styles, city or open images, places linkage and continuity uh, with cultural tradition and interrelated among urban elements. Uh, we also uh, test uh, and see uh, the frequency word inquiry from the content of memory records and the group's proposal. Uh, there are intersections between the memory records from, uh, from the design proposal uh, submitted by each group. Uh, we can see from, uh, from the monitor that like the words like building, uh, streets, and then Malioboro, parking area, pedestrians, uh, the words that are more frequently used uh, by the students, either it is written in the, in the uh, memory records or in the design proposal. Uh, the, the frequency word also indicate uh, about the uh, the important issues happen on the site of the project. We also uh, try to analyze uh, 
the content of the memory records and compare with the design proposal. From our, our observation of the final outcome, the content of collective memory had a significant influence on the quality of the design proposal. For example, like uh, in the pictures, uh, the photos on the left side uh, used uh, the quality of the building on the photos also uh, used by the student as a design references uh, for developing the design uh, proposal. For example, like, like color and then uh, uh, the styles, it also appeared on the design proposal. It is important that the, the new design proposal have to always uh, have a context in the site where the building uh, built or proposed to be built. And uh, from the study, we can conclude uh, that the students' uh, active participation in collecting and sharing what and how the city is remembered uh, via the virtual city platform has affected uh, their, lear their learning outcomes in areas mostly associated with open space qualities, like I mentioned before. Uh, second, the digital records collected uh, represent not only images of buildings and places three-dimensionally, but also the stories behind them. The virtual city as built and used uh, become an online interface through which the process of collective remembering of the city was mediated in a bottom-up manner. Collective memory enhanced virtual city also facilitated students to explore the contextual issues actively. Uh, all the members involved in the, uh, in the experiment and each other uh, develop uh, the memory, engage and experience more with the open spaces, provides a broader historical information uh, based in various formats, uh, either text, image, video, audio, etc. Uh, collective memory enhanced uh, virtual city also helps collaborative and participative learning that encourages dialogue and discussion, uh, both synchronously and asynchronously. However, uh, there are some aspects on this study which is not uh, covered and need further study, like the structure of collective memory repository, the graphical interfaces for design differences, and also applications of creativity to other design learning programs, such as uh, architectural design studio or any other uh, subject. I think uh, that's all uh, my presentation. Thank you for listening for the time. Mm -hmm.